In this video, we'll be looking at DNA replication by uh, the mechanism called semi-conservative uh, replication. There are some enzymes involved, and obviously uh, in exams, you need to make sure you can utilize all the keywords that are involved, so make sure you get all the marks, and here we will illustrate that. Uh, now, in the very beginning, we got our DNA double helix that looks like this. And uh, in the DNA double helix, it's got the two strands like that, and they're uh, joined up or held in place by the bases and the hydrogen bonds in between the bases, which I didn't draw out, but this is kind of the idea of it. So let's say the DNA unwinds, so it becomes like this, parallel to one another, as you can see, and that the hydrogen bonds break in between, so they are no longer uh, joined up together properly. So as you can see that. And that is due to the action of an enzyme called DNA helicase. So what it does is the DNA will unzip and unwind the DNA like so uh, and they unzip it by breaking the hydrogen bonds in between. So let's say here they're still intact, you can see that there are hydrogen bonds in between that and now it just completely breaks it between the complementary bases. And then now in the uh, environment we get some free nucleotides floating around and to illustrate it I'm going to use a different colour. So you kind of get the idea. And what these free DNA nucleotides does is that they will be attracted to the ex now exposed bases, like so. So adenine will uh, base pair with thymine, vice versa. Cyan uh, cytosine will pair up with guanine uh, and vice versa. One keyword to use here is a complementary base pairing, uh, and it says a lot. And sometimes in exams, often complementary base pairing is already a mark. In the, uh, in the actual answer, and you might get extra marks by illustrating which base pairs up with which. So, which is A pairs up with T, and C pairs up with G. And in the first step, you can see here, we've got our old template strands, and then we've got our new strands sort of forming. These free nucleotides then needs to be joined together properly to make the new strand. And uh, in this case, we've got DNA polymerase uh, that will catalyze the formation of phosphodiester bonds uh, to form the sugar phosphate backbone. And here, as you can see again, we've got some keywords, phosphodiester bonds, DNA polymerase, and sugar phosphate backbone. Just keep in mind, polymerase, polymer, Okay, DNA is a polymer, so in this case, polymerase is the enzyme that makes the polymer, and like that. And finally, here we will say, we will explain why it's called semi-conservative uh, replication. And it's because each of these uh, DNA molecules uh, each contain one old and one new strand, that's why it's called semi-conservative. So here is the overview of it. Uh, here the DNA molecule unwinds and unzips by DNA helicase and it does so by breaking the hydrogen bonds in between the complementary bases. Then the free DNA nucleotides, nucleotides will be attracted to the exposed bases and they pair up by a complementary base pairing. Then uh, the new nucleotides are then joined up together by DNA polymerase by forming phosphodiester bonds along to make the sugar phosphate backbone. Then you get two molecules, uh, each with one new and one old strand of DNA, meaning that this is a semi-conservative replication. There's a famous uh, experiment, which is how they discover this, and it's often an exam question, which is uh, they use a different nitrogen for the nitrogenous bases. So some of the nitrogens will, so the old strands of DNA would have N14, which is the normal or lighter version. Then the free nucleotides uh, there would have N15, which is the modified and heavier nitrogen. So afterwards was that they do centrifugation and to see what kind of um, results they get. And very beginning they got all N14 uh, DNA molecules. Then after the first cycle of replication, they get uh, everything has a mix of N14 and 15. For the second generation, they found a mix of N14 and 15 and also another band for just N15, which is a classic uh, evidence for the semi-conservative replication.